Preventing forgery or claims of forgery is an important task when securing TCP IP communications. This is usually referred to as non-repudiation. Non-repudiation deals with the integrity of the data and the legitimacy of the author. Along with encrypting sensitive information, we also have to be certain of the data that we are receiving and also of the authors. This is important for two main reasons. The first reason is that the data can be intercepted and altered during transmission. This is commonly referred to as a man in the middle attack. Here the receiver does not know if the data is original. The second reason is when someone pretending to be someone else is sending you data. This attack is usually referred to as phishing. One example is receiving an email that claims to be sent from your bank, but in actuality is sent from a fraudulent source. These attacks or claims of these attacks can have an impact on our confidence when receiving data. So to maintain users assurance when using the network, non-repudiation implements two security methods. The first method is called hashing and it was created as a solution to the man in the middle problem. Hashing means taking data for example, a text document, and transforming it by a hashing algorithm into a fixed value. This value will change dramatically if any part of the document was altered at any time during transmission. With the use of hashing, proof of the integrity of the document can now be verified. The second method deals with the signing of the data, also referred to as a digital signature. To successfully implement this method on a network requires having a public key infrastructure, also known as a PKI. Public keys and private keys are at the heart of the PKI. In encryption, the public key is used for encrypting and the private key is used for decrypting. But with digital signatures, it is the opposite. Here the private key is used for signing the data and the public key is used to validate the signature. This security method gives the reader the confidence that the data that they are viewing is actually from the legitimate author. A good example is the use of digital certificates to verify the authenticity of websites. So in conclusion, non-repudiation is used as a way of providing and proving the credibility of transmitted data. This is one of many steps taken when securing our TCP IP communications. That's all for now on non-repudiation. Head over to heymit.com for more information.